Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Your Favorite Libertarian. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily clean your AR-15, pistol, rifle, SBR, other, firearm. It doesn't really matter what it is, it all works the same way, am I right? If you have any questions about how I did certain things, what products I used, what have you, leave those in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. If you like this video, I really appreciate that thumbs up, that really helps the algorithms. And if you'd like to support the channel and show your appreciation that way, you can do so just by buying super cool stuff with my affiliate links in the description link tree below. Are you ready to get cleaning? Let's do it. First things first, let's make sure this is an unloaded firearm. Now we're going to take apart the upper and lower receivers. Not sure how much I'm allowed to show on YouTube, so I'll just do this. Okay, there we go. That was pretty easy. Now we'll set this lower receiver aside and get started on our upper receiver by removing the bolt carrier group and charging handle. Let's go over our cleaning supplies, which will consist of a nylon brush, a boar snake, and some M Pro 7. First, I'm going to spray the inside of the upper receiver to let that soak. Then I'll move on to the lower receiver and spray the firing control group. Then I'll start scrubbing. I should probably mention at this point that you'll want to get some Q-tips. You can get about a hundred of them for a nickel. So very inexpensive, disposable, and they're really good for getting in those nooks and crannies. If you remember my video on how to quickly and easily clean your striker fired pistol, these make an appearance there as well. For bonus points, you can take out the buffer tube and clean that. That typically doesn't get as dirty as everything else in the system, but it is good every once in a while to take it out, see how it's doing, and clean it up a little bit. And we're back to the upper receiver. So we'll take our M Pro 7 again, spray in there, and start scrubbing. After spraying and scrubbing everything down, I like to take an old t-shirt, get in there, wipe off any excess carbon that I can find, then go in with the Q-tips again in those nooks and that's right, you guessed it, crannies. Now it's time for me to impart some Q-tip tips on you. If you bend the handle of the Q-tip slightly, you can get underneath that gas tube a little bit better. And if you bend it even more, you can get in between the barrel and the lugs for the front of the bolt face. I don't know how well you can see this, but that's what I'm doing right now. That Q-tip is also great for getting rid of any excess carbon in the chamber in between those locking lugs. So make sure to give that a try as well. Now let's show that barrel some love, spray down there, roll it around, let it really get in there and all the rifling. And then we're gonna take our boar snake. The heavy side first goes in from the back of the upper receiver down into the chamber, through the barrel, out the muzzle. And we're just gonna pull that all the way through a few times until the inside of that barrel, the bore, if you will, is sparkling clean. And that's right, we saved the best for last. We are now going to take apart our BCG or bolt carrier group. First things first, we're gonna take out that little cotter pin that holds the firing pin in place. You can take the cam, twist it, pull it out, and then pull out your bolt. At this point, you probably have an idea of what's going to happen. We're gonna spray everything down and start scrubbing. You wanna make sure when you're scrubbing your bolt that if there's any holes that go into the bolt, you wanna make sure that bolt is upside down so that as you're scrubbing, you're not putting more gunk into the bolt. Also, you can see there's a lot of carbon built up in this portion of the bolt. It might not be as bad for you. I have a nitride finish or nitride coating or nitride treated bolt carrier group, but if you have something like nickel boron or DLC, it might not be as bad. It might come off a lot easier for you. Just something to note, that's an area where you typically see a lot of buildup. And for me, I had to use a steel brush to remove that as well. The firing pin typically will get a lot of carbon caked on and built up on the flat surface of the base of the firing pin. You may not be able to get it all off with a nylon brush. You might want to switch to either a brass brush or a steel brush. 
In my case, I had to go all the way to a steel brush to get that off. For lubrication purposes, I like to use Break Free CLP by Safari Land. It's great because it's a preservative and a lubricant, keeps things in tip top shape, and keeps things running smoothly. I apply it pretty much all over the outside of the bolt carrier and then put some on the bolt as well, as that is something that's going to be moving within that channel up and down and rotating. Put a little bit on the cam pin as well. And then after that, I pretty much just reassembled. There's a little bit I'll put in those two holes on the side of the bolt carrier group, but everything else you don't really need to put any on because it's just gonna get some as it's doing what it does. Any excess that I have, I'll put on the charging handle. And then the last thing we'll need to do at this point is put those two main pieces into the upper receiver. Like so. For bonus points, you can put a little bit on your buffer and buffer spring. And with a little bit of movie magic, we'll Ta-da! Reassemble our upper and lower. Anytime you take apart a firearm and put it back together, it's good to make sure that you didn't screw it up. First, we'll test our bolt catch, bolt release. It catches the bolt. Now we'll see if it releases it by pressing this ping pong paddle shaped button on the side. And yes, it does release it, so we're good there. Next, we're going to test our fire control group by first testing the trigger. So yes, we hear a click, that's good. The trigger works as far as being able to fire the firearm. Now we're going to switch the safety on and make sure that it won't fire. And in fact, it does not fire, which is also good. Trigger resets, trigger fires again, which is great. Now we'll make sure that again, the safety is still working and we're good. Congratulations. If you made it this far in the video, it means you have successfully cleaned your AR-15. If you want to know any more about this particular specimen, this model, in this video, the Aero Precision 10.5 inch A2 series is available on my YouTube channel, Your Favorite Libertarian. Check that out, full playlist, all sorts of really cool stuff from the beginning, just getting that upper all the way up to what you see now. Also, if you'd like to purchase anything you see in this video, such as anything from Aero Precision, you can do so by clicking on my Linktree link in the description and in the pinned comment really helps out the channel when you shop those links. Thanks in advance. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay free. God bless.